Um, while I was teaching, though, I did commissions uh, for people. I got into a gallery that represented me, and we, I sold paintings through that. But then I was starting a bunch of companies. I don't remember if I ever talked about this at, on the podcast. Starting a bunch I've of com- companies. so much, I don't remember who I told these stories to. Okay. But yeah, I've, I started a bunch of various companies that had nothing to do with art. Um, but I was practicing business. Uh, and eventually, I started Proco, um, combining all that stuff, and now that's how I do it. Because I don't want to make money as an artist. Yeah? Whoa! Yeah, well, elaborate on it. You don't want to make money as an artist. Why not? Well, because I don't think uh, artists make a lot of money. <laughs> It, yeah, I know, right? It depends on the artist. I know. Most artists don't make a lot of money. And that's okay. A lot of careers don't make people wealthy. A lot of writers don't make a lot of money. Yeah. that's. Not, I, I think if you're entering the art world to get rich, that is a very bad idea. It is a mistake from the beginning. Yes. You should go do art because you really love it and you can't do anything else because you just like it so much it has to be part of your life uh but i decided when i started proco that i want to build a business actually before that that's why i was starting all these businesses is that i wanted to make a business that would get me money so that i don't have to paint for someone else i don't have to have a a, uh, you know a regular job at a studio i can just do the art that i want to do i want freedom in that and so that's what my plan is now with with Procos build it up enough where I'm not worried about money and then make art Mm -hmm. so that's my plan I don't want to make money as an artist well not making money as an artist can be the best decision you make Rembrandt did his greatest work as an amateur Uh, the stuff that he did that he didn't get paid for William Blake certainly did his greatest work as an amateur because he did most of his work as an amateur. Think about Van Gogh and, and many others. They, they just did their work because they had it in them to do. And they, it wasn't contaminated by somebody calling the shots. Right. Let me mention something about John Singer Sargent that way. Okay. And I, I'm trusting I've got this story accurate. He got <laughs> sick of doing portraits of the wealthy because portraits of the wealthy means you have to pander to the wealthy. You have to make sure they're happy with it. You have to fix it and make them look nicer. He got sick of it. And there was a point where he said, I think the quote was in a letter to a friend, no more portraits. He was gonna focus on landscapes or whatever else he was gonna focus on. How old was he at that point? I don't know. But I do know that after that point, he did his greatest portraits because they were the ones he chose to do. He uh, did that one of Robert Louis Stevenson. He did that one of that actor guy that was in Bride of Frankenstein. He did friends and people who he was interested in their personality yeah. and their look. And that's where you see this Rembrandt-like quality of he captures a personality that's just yeah. amazing. That's exactly why I don't want to make money as an artist because mm-hmm. I, I've had the same experience. My commissioned portraits were always the worst ones. Mm-hmm. The ones that I chose were, were the best ones, the ones I like. Yeah. It, it, I'm inspired to do that portrait, so that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant was 51, by the way. 51 when he did that? John Singer Sergeant was? So did you find the quote? Uh, yes. Oh, really? So did I get it accurate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> nice. He was 51. That's not young. How old did he end up being? He died in 1925. Uh, He said that in 1907, so another... So he had another 20 years or so, okay, of doing the portraits he wanted. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And if you have a job that pays your bills, that does not compete with art, let me explain that. That if you are working all day in front of a computer doing graphic design for your living and it's somebody else's graphic design, you're probably not going to feel like in your off time doing digital paintings because it's just going to be more time in front of the computer. But I had a student years ago who was a mailman. And so he's out walking every day outdoors, physically active and then when he's done with that day he goes into a studio and he feels like huddling into the studio because it's mm-hmm. it's counterbalancing 
activity. Lo, do, 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 do